Hello YouTube and welcome back to What the Math. Today we're continuing chapter 11 and we're doing two, two subchapters from chapter 11, C and D. One is called Line of the Best Fit by I and one is called Linear Regression. Now the thing is these two topics are basically the same thing. Here we're going to be building um, a line of the best fit which is basically something we did in the previous video and here we're going to be doing this manually. In other words by hand or by eye. And this is the same thing except that we're going to be using calculator to construct the same line a little bit more accurately. So this is for accuracy calculator. Uh, basically this is the more important part and this is the least important part but th this is something that you should know because you'll probably be doing this in university as you're required to do this by hand. Um, Alright so let's start with an example. And this is an example that we've used in a previous video as well. So this is where you have kids throwing discuses uh, to a certain distance and then you see their age and so this is their age and the distance that the discus is thrown. And basically it will give you a graph that kind of looks like this. And this is what we call a scatter plot. So essentially every single point is marked down here. So the first kid that's 10 years old, where is he? This kid right here. I shouldn't be calling him a kid. This person, he is, or he, he or she is right here, and so on and so forth until the last person who is 20 years old and it throws a discus at approximately 50 meters away. Now, here's the thing: um, we can actually, and we've done this before. We can actually construct uh, a line to represent this type of a relationship, and this line would be called um, line of best fit. And the way you do this by eye is essentially trying to draw a line that kind of has just an equal amount of points on both sides. So something that would be similar to maybe this, where you have, uh, okay, not this, maybe this, this would be a little bit more accurate, where you have just the right amount of points on both sides, maybe even a little bit lower than this. Now there's a more accurate way of doing this and w let me just quickly show you how to do this by eye. So first thing you, you want to do is you want to basically find the mean for both of these values. For age, which let's just call it x bar, this is the mean for age, and y bar is going to be the mean for distances. And if you find this, if you actually add all of these up and then divide it by total number, you will get 15, so the average age is 15, and 29 is the average distance. So essentially this is how you do this part. And what does this give you? Well, it gives you a, a mean point, and this is a point that we'll be using to construct the um, the regression line. So 15 is right here, and 29 is approximately over here. So if you find this point, this is the point right here. This is our mean point, 1529. Now, what do we need this mean point for? Well, it's basically to construct the regression line. Now, using this point, we can now try to find a perfectly oriented a regression line that will basically give us an idea of what the regression line would be here. So it's sort of like this maybe, maybe a little bit, a little bit more straight than this. So essentially, uh, once you find the mean point, you can then try to construct uh, using, you know, using approximation, a regression, a regression line that will kind of give you um, a line that goes right through the middle of these points. And this is how you do it by hand if you're asked to do it by hand. So make sure to find the mean point. And of course, this is what we also call line of best fit. So if you ever hear a question, find the line of best fit, this is what it is. Also known as regression line. Now here is the question you might ask, why do we need this line? What is it for? Well, it's for something that we call interpolation and extrapolation. Let's actually take a look at this very quickly. Interpolation and extrapolation. Now what are these words? What, are, what do they actually mean? Well, it's basically, think of this as predicting or prediction and there's two types of prediction here so this is a prediction or predicting values and i'm going to use uh, a picture from the book just to kind of explain it to you now if i were to take similar points and construct a regression line right here in the middle i would have uh, something called upper pole or basically my highest point right here and my lower pole or lowest point right here the regression line will obviously keep going but the thing is uh I only have points in the middle. This is where I have my points, but the line keeps going. So everything between these two points is called interpolation. Now, what do we need this for? So for example, let's just say this is once again, age versus distance. So on the bottom we have age and on top we have distance. 
and you want to find out how far would a, a person of, let's just say, I don't know, uh, what number don't we have here? I think maybe 14, do we have 14? No, we don't have 14, all right. So let's just say we want to find how far would a 14 year old child throw his discus? We don't have this value here, so we're actually going to use something called interpolation. We're going to find 14 on, on the bottom. So let's just say this is 14 right here. Then we're going to go up until we cross the line and then go left until we cross the y-axis. And this value right here will give me the distance for a 14 year old child. So this is a prediction or I guess a guesstimation of um, distance that the discus will fly if a 14 year old child throws it. So this is an example of interpolation. Now extrapolation is a little bit more tricky because here we're using the values outside of given points. So this is either on the right side or on the left side. And the thing is here, it doesn't always make sense. So for example, for example, here's the same graph extrapolated to 35 years. Now, if we decide to look at how far a 30 year old would throw the discus, 30 is right here, go up, go left. It's approximately 78, 78 meters. That is pretty far. I don't think, I don't think I could throw the discus that far. And I would be like somewhere over here, I guess. That means I, I, I should be able to throw a discus at approximately 90 meters. So uh, that is not true. It doesn't work that way. So for extrapolation, you actually have to use, you know, logic. You have to try to think, is that reasonable? Is that possible? So here, I think maybe somewhere around this point, this is when the line of regression will actually become more of a exponential growth. Uh, so if you do get a question like this on a test where it asks you, is it reasonable to have such a high value? The answer is no, and you would explain that a person cannot throw a discus that far. Uh, so this is an example of extrapolation. Same thing for uh, for the smallest value. So that means that kids of five years old would not be able to throw discus at all. Does that make sense? No, of course they can throw discus, and they'll probably uh, you know get at least five meters. So this it probably looks more more like that. So it's not a true line. It's more of a interestingly shaped exponential growth on both sides. All right, so this part of the chapter is done. Now let's talk about the calculator part. We've actually done this before in a previous video, but we'll do this again, specifically combining everything we've learned. We're going to combine interpolation, extrapolation. We're going to combine calculator stuff and basically finding everything else in between. So I'm going to erase all this and try one of the examples from the book. And this is example six from page 331. And the question is, the annual income and average weekly grocery bill for a selection of families is shown below. So this is their income and I'll just call it X and this is their grocery bill Y. Now, first question is construct a scatter diagram to illustrate the data. This is something you should be able to do by hand. So we're actually going to be doing this by hand as well. Uh, and I'm going to basically skip the part where I'm doing it and I'll just show you the result. Then we use technology to find the uh, least square regression line. What does this mean? Least square regression line. This is essentially the function in the calculator that I'm going to be showing you today. And I've shown you in a previous, previous video. And finally, we have to estimate the weekly grocery bill for a family with an annual income of 95,000 pounds. Now, this is where we use either interpolation or extrapolation. We'll find out once we actually calculate uh, and once we actually have our scatter plot. Then finally, comment on whether the estimate is likely to be reliable. This is where you use your logic. Okay, so let's do the scatter plot first. Now, this is what the scatter plot will look like, and it doesn't tell us to, that we have to actually draw the regression line, so we're not going to do that, but we need to find the regression line. So this, this right here is question A, and question B is find the regression line for this particular example. So how do we do it? Well, we use the calculator. And here, what we're doing we're, is we're entering the edit. Uh, all of the axes are going to be L1, so this is 55, 36, and so on. And then all of the Y's are going to be L2, so go to the right part and now enter all of your Y's that will match the axis. So this will be 90, 60, and so on. Okay, so this part is done, so this is basically stat edit. And now we're pressing stat and calc, so go to calc and choose number four, which is linear regression. This is why it's called linreg, linear regression. Once you click on it, you will see this thingamajig. Now here, um, L X list and Y list should be L1 and L2. We have no frequency list here, but we do want to store this. We want to actually store this reg uh, regression equation by going to vars, uh, clicking on the right, Y vars, and then choosing function, 
and y1 so this is what you should have um if you click on calculate now it was go it's going to give you your function for linear regression right here so it's basically uh, y equals to 4.17 i guess 4.18 x plus minus 56.7 so essentially, this is your regression line formula. You can write that as an answer, or you can you can basically go to your y and also plot it if it's ask uh, if if the question asks you to plot it. Now, if you don't see anything, go to zoom and click on zoom stat, which is on the bottom somewhere here. I think it's number nine. There you go. Click on this, and this should give you a slightly better representation. And here you go, this is what you should be getting. And this is the regression line and all of the points. Now, if you don't see the points, don't forget that you need to turn them on by going to stat plot, second y, uh, second y right here. And this has to be on and it has to be set to this thing right here. Uh, so essentially, this is it. So this is what your regression line looks like. You just have to, you, uh, you want to rewrite this. And so we're going to go to calc and just click on linear regression one more time. Calculate it again and just copy this answer. So. If A is 4.18, which, which uh, this would mean that Y equals, so it would mean that Y equals 4.18X minus 56.7. And this is the formula for the regression line. This is the basic the equation you're looking for. And this is question B. And question C is this. Estimate the weekly grocery bill for a family that has 95,000 income. Now, how do we figure this out? Well, we're going to be using this, of course. We're going to be using our newly found regression line formula and here oops you have to understand what this means what is annual income well if you go here if you go back to this part it's x x equals to ninety five thousand. so what do we do we take this number and we plug it in right here into the x and solve for y this will give us y which is our weekly grocery bill so let's try this and to do this we're just going to use normal calculation function so don't forget that ninety five thousand refers to this number so it should be just 95 so 4.18 uh, times 95 uh, and then minus 56.7 this will give us the answer for weekly spendings or weekly uh, grocery bill 56.7 and the answer to this is 30 340.4 uh, so 340.4 pounds per week spent on a grocery bill. Now, this is part of the question C. The other part asks you this. It asks you asks you whether um, this is a reasonable, reliable um, answer. Now, is it a reliable answer? Well, let's just think about it. So we have 70, or actually somewhere over here, as our highest point. 90 would be somewhere over here. 95 would be over here, 95. So in other words, it is an extrapolation. This is an extrapolation. And what do we know about extrapolation? What did we just learn a few minutes ago? Well, it's not particularly reliable. Just like a 30-year-old throwing a discus to like 78 meters, it's the same situation here. If you Just because you're making 95,000 pounds a year doesn't mean that you're going to be spending so much money on, on groceries. So chances are that this line actually kind of straightens out so even though this might be a regression line you might actually straighten out ooh, this is black shouldn't be black straighten out and change direction so it might not be exactly the same as what we think here uh, so for the middle part yes it makes sense for the interpolation but for extrapolation not necessarily so the answer to c the answer to c is um 340.4 pounds but not reliable. It's not very reliable because it's extrapolation. And well, that's really it. That's how you do this. And essentially all you need to do is remember how to find this particular formula using linear regression. If you can do this, you should be absolutely fine. So just remember to save it as well, store it in a regular, uh, regular uh, regression equation. And so here, this is what we're looking for and you need to be able to find this. Okay, and that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and good luck to you. Bye-bye.